and Captain Massey, guys, we are finally back again for another reaction on the one and only Mr. Lex Vlogs. I know, guys, I have actually one more day for the reaction channel to come back on, guys, and of course, we'll be posting over there. So, by tomorrow, we'll be dropping the mangas like, whoa! So, with that said, guys, big up the Mr. Lex YouTube family for definitely dropping by by the vlogs, as well as the peoples, people in, come on in, brothers and sisters, big up the new family out and there, out and large. Um, who are definitely coming by and saying Mr. Licks we are in the building as well Come on in guys, subscribe and turn on that post notification so you can get all the videos Subscribe to the reaction channel as well guys, I would appreciate that when we jump in the videos once again Because a number of you guys, I know a number of you guys actually came over to the vlogs And there's some new people who as well checking out the, re the reaction vibrations and messaging me and saying Hey we like the reactions and whatnot But you guys need to go over to the reaction channel guys, Mr. Licks reacts <laughs> And check out the other reactions that I've actually done right there and then anyways guys with that study right there let's get into the vibrations for today of course vincent for those of you don't know who is vincent send vincent and the grenadines brothers and sisters are exporting over thirty thousand pounds <laughs> thirty thousand pounds brothers and sisters of dashing to florida okay so you might be saying but mr lex why are you putting that dinner because dominica could have done it too <laughs> all right then guys this is actually what they have been sending to florida I guess St. Vincent and the Grenadines have found the markets for which they can then sell the produce. And I'm picking up St. Vincent and the Grenadines, don't get me wrong about this. I'm just sad that Dominica being the agricultural nation that it is or is supposed to be, is not actually doing anything in that regard right there. The year 2023 has seen exports of between 2 to 20 um, um, feet containers of dashing, taro dashing exported from St. Vincent and the Grenadines to the United States of um of course that state being florida totaling a, th a total of thirty thousand pounds uh, thirty thousand brothers and sisters it's been a long road they've stated but the journey has s served as a boy as they mentioned the long road there brothers and sisters i'm thinking of dominica and the long road we have come Dominica have gone a long road in the opposite direction, brothers and sisters. The opposite direction. Where are small St. Vincent and Grenadines? They have just faced a volcanic eruption <laughs> about two years ago, brothers and sisters. Volcano boom! <laughs> Man escaping on boat <laughs> to go other places because volcano erupting. But in 2023, Mark you. <laughs> they have exported 30,000 pounds in Dominica with the vast lands that we have. <sighs> I'm just thinking of disasters upon disasters. Bahamas had a hurricane, probably the strongest hurricane in the history of the 21st century, brothers and sisters, in the Atlantic region or the Caribbean Sea, whichever you want to call it, around that sphere, brothers and sisters, Western hem Hemisphere. Bahamas had a category 50 hurricane that decided to just stop <laughs> it stopped imagine a hurricane over category five my brothers and sisters almost 200 miles per hour even beyond that. i think maybe 230 miles i think it was whichever brothers and sisters it was category five and beyond and the hurricane was moving at zero i remember watching that on tv and i said but i wonder what will happen if you go to zero and lo and behold it go to zero miles per hour and it stayed over Bahamas. <laughs> boy, tell you, boy. And not too long after, a few months later, Ross branched out. Well, individuals from Ross went to Bahamas to set up a school there. To set up a school there, Mark you. There were individuals from Dominica who are working in that school today. <laughs> I know some of them. <laughs> so I know what I'm saying. Now, St. Vincent and the Grenadines had a volcanic eruption about two years ago. They are exporting based on agriculture on the agricultural sector that they are in, brothers and sisters. They are exporting 30,000 pounds of dashing <laughs> to Florida, Dominica, the Nature Island, the Caribbean. 2017, we had, er, um, why is, is it named Erica? No, Erica, Maria. Tropical storm Maria. Maria, Maria, oh, yo, yo. Maria, come and we. Six years later, brothers and sisters, where we be now? Where we be? <laughs> but at least <laughs> there is a vision to be seen 
by the people of Saint and Saint Vincent and the Grenadines. Barbados itself linked up in Guyana <laughs> for them to see how they can enter into the agricultural market. The very same Dominica was in Guyana with the boy. I tell you, <laughs> yes, I. So Saint Vincent has decided to do this very thing right there. And they have led the way. Ah, thank God at least Dominica get to see what other countries doing. And at least they they looking at it. Look, Dexia coming now. Dexia, oh, Dexia straight face. Ah, we need dashing. Ah. We need dashing, boy. Yes, I. We need dashing. Dexia is in need of dashing for shipments to the United States and the UK, United Kingdom. Interested farmers, please call the number right there. Who am I, Mr. Licks, to prevent that? From other people right there brothers and sisters let me get the number for all you and i have to make sure i make the number big enough <laughs> so all you can see all right all right then look the numbers there rose opak house two seven five five nine seven three and postmark pack house two seven five seven zero nine two <laughs> yes brothers and sisters so you can definitely hope for the best Hope for the best is all we can do in the nation of the Caribbean. Just hope. <laughs> Why others making progressive pro um, and progress. Progressive progress. <laughs> the many guys making progressive stagnancy. <laughs> but we uh, will see how that goes, man. But at least, guys, reach out there. Dex, uh, I guess, is trying to, to, to do a little something. Okay? At least they say better late than never. But uh, Vincent already exporting, you know, a good amount, eh? exporting man they, they freeing up themselves man <sighs> anyways guys let's continue right there so i heard this thing uh, this thing was actually sent to me i only saw a snippet of it so we're gonna see what the rest is uh minister farrakhan is actually talking about agriculture and the understanding thereof that agriculture can help a nation you know that dominica is an agricultural nation not a tourist nation no we have a, a second large boiling lake and we are bush ah, yes we are Bush and River, brothers and sisters. So people can come and see Bush and River. Yes, sir. And of course, this whole fast pass. All right. But when it comes down to agriculture and the movement forward for Dominica, it's not tourism. No. We are too far behind for us to look for tourism. And we are falling behind on agriculture. Let us get into what uncle has to tell us right there every creature that god created he put in the creation something for that creature to eat, eat high, to continue true. its life yes the preservation of life the maintenance of life if you look at life brothers and sisters how do you how do you make businesses that can actually be sustainable you know human beings need to eat therefore you produce products that humans can eat true or false and if you're actually looking not just eating but drinking as well so we have both food and water that people can eat and drink <laughs> what are we doing in dominica not 2013 not 2013 the government said they're going to export water across the world now which makes me wonder about this thing right there are we really serious Let's continue. The reproduction of life. So farming then and the farmer from the eyes of God is the foundation of everything. Truth. People think you have to have a great education you don't. to become wealthy. Education is a system made for people to become consumers, one, and two, to become servants of the very system that is teaching them to become workers brothers and sisters all oh, you know that right the schooling system doesn't teach you that's why they don't teach you about taxes that's why they don't teach you about money and how money works that's why the schooling system doesn't teach you about investing and understanding how the banking system works and understanding that because it's maintained to keep the very people at the top at the top and you be their loyal subjects that is what the schooling system is don't get me wrong you know guys School is important to understand the basics of that which you are operating in the system. You must learn the basics, brothers and sisters. But it's one thing to learn the basics and lack understanding. Understanding is the key to understanding or, or to you know 
in the understanding is key now to operate how life works and how life functions especially moving in a system that is meant to keep you down it must keep you down I, I, I was listening to a podcast the other day, guys, and the individual was saying something. A number of persons are talking about the plethora of everybody having an equal, um, equal opportunities, or equal opportunity of outcome, because you have the equal, equal, you have opportunity, um, you have equality in opportunity for everybody, and the outcome of it, which of course varies based on the different skills and talents of the individuals, the outcome will vary. But what the system is telling you. Or what people want you to believe that the system is will the equality of opportunity will equate to the equality of outcome, and that is not the case at all. That is what the schooling system did. Oh, we'll go to school and everybody will just have have the best life ever. No, that is not the case right there. But anyways, guys, I going too far. Is agriculture we talking about? <laughs> if you guys want me to talk about these things, just let me know in the comment box below, guys. Because sometimes I just get ahead, and when my brain is pushing them kind of things, you just have to spew it out, man. Guys, sorry about that. My camera just filled up right there. But on the basis, the, the system is meant to keep you at a certain level. For example, take for, ex for for instance a job. You want to get a job. You go to school to get a job, right? You get a job so you can get some enough money. Um, to, to, to give you a level of survival you want to expand your 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 your, your education um, schooling education so that you can get more money you take a loan a hundred thousand dollar loan two hundred thousand some people four hundred thousand dollars I know a woman from Ross four hundred thousand dollars she tell me she owes anyways she take all that money to go to school to get a better education so you can get a better job so when you come back you get the better job so you can spend your entire life <laughs> paying back that loan. And then people will criticize agriculture when people are turning the soil, making money out of thin air. And the reason why I say thin air because the fruits them are coming out from the ground as God would seed feed to bear fruit. So that man can then sell or make produce or productions from these things to sell for. Anyways, guys, let me continue. I going too far. <laughs> Not so. <laughs> we were recently in Belize, Talk in more. Central America, uh -huh. and we visited the Mennonite Christian community of there. Course. They owned over one hundred thousand acres, acres mm -hmm. of land. Yep. Though they migrated from southern Mexico into Belize and started with 20 acres of land, I asked them, what is their degree of education? <laughs> talk, talk, talk and they us. kind of smiled and said, what education are you talking about? What you, why? <laughs> they, they go as far as the eighth grade. But they're feeding half of the population mm. of Belize. This is what Dominica should have been involved in. We are in snack dab in the middle of the Caribbean when it comes down to the small islands. We should be sending up and we should be sending down. But no. <laughs> Barbados involved in agriculture or want to get involved. St. Vincent's passing. They're sending the boat past Dominica. Whoop! Full speed. Florida. Where else? Um, Jamaica itself does a little thing. We even ex importing. <laughs> we importing sorrel. And we have sorrel in Dominica. That's why before I continue, you know that. Let me continue. Eh? <laughs> they know how to farm. Yes. And with a smile, uh -huh. they said, <laughs> we know how to count money. True. And they told them. You have to know the basics. Counting money is, counting, matter of fact, is the basics. They learned the basics and did not fall into the trap of what the system want them to do. Millionaires, they're talking about, you know, millionaires, you know, guys. They know how to count. That they are quite wealthy oh. because everyone needs food to eat. Yes. So for our open enemy. I mean, and, and we, we talk about Dominica. Dominica in that regard, guys. Dominica not seen that it's the agricultural nation. People all over the world. Economists tell you how come Dominica does not have its own factories? We have fruits and all kind of things. One of my friends went to Anguilla to go and study. She from Dominica, you know. She go Anguilla for her to study. She's a medical doctor now. 
She in Anguilla and she taking boy that no fruit there no that no fruits it's thing they have to import. Dominica have it. To kill our love for the land and kill our desire for ownership of land and to kill our desire to be a farmer knowing that farming is one of the most dignified of all professions that gives dignity and worth to other professions to the very root of survival and people just look down on farmers we <laughs> i still like farming doing some export as well and you know the number of things so i know i understand going around and giving them um, selling stuff to people based off what we produce and, and and what have you brothers and sisters going around and making a little money as little boys <laughs> little boys earning a few hundred dollars here and there selling produce we call that the invisible amount of money where you take you know even you that plant the tree <laughs> you just take put in truck and go and sell hey that is something else we and Dominicans can do that. It's not like you have to buff the fruit. You're not buffing the fruit. The fruit will come in season. And all those fruits will come in that season. So you have different things to sell and different things to sell out. But no. Dominica is not doing that. No Dominica want to do what St. Vincent is doing. As if the market was not there. Marquis a shame on our Minister of Agriculture. Whoever that is. Who's Minister of Agriculture now? I don't even know. To deprive us of this knowledge is absolute wickedness. Wickedness! And wickedness! This is why the scriptures say, my people perish. Oh! Are <laughs> my people perish because of a lack of knowledge. That is so true. And even in the hindsight of understanding itself, my people perish because they lack. There's something I was listening to some preacher that was talking about, you know, understanding life in itself. And he said there's two equations. There's a revolution equation which involves praying. You do, and I'm one of my mottos, especially for the vlogs, you guys who listen to the vlogs who always hear me say, do your best and God will do the rest. The revolution equation or revelation equation, brothers and sisters, it was praying, you do your best and ask God, hey, God open doors for me. But there's also the success equation. The success equation involves understanding how things work. Some of us just praying, <laughs> chanting some upon some and burning all kind of incense like some dead air. As if this smoke will just give us some new form insight when we fail to understand how things work. <laughs> so pray only one brothers and sisters the great book says a man shall not eat lest he work so take, take his joke think his joke you must do the work just like every part of the bible where you see man has done something where god jesus himself took mud and put on his the people's eyes you could just say remove blindness from your eyes he took mud and he put on people's eyes when he told moses to go and speak to the rock Moses had to go and do the action. He struck the rock, but still, he did the action so that the rock could produce water. Even the great book, some people think things are going to fall from the sky. Some people think, especially Valentine's Day, just pass. Some women believe that they're just going to get the best man ever. They're just going to get it without themselves working on themselves to get what they want or what they need. Matter of fact, because sometimes what we want is not the best for us. It's what we need that is important. But anyways, guys, we're going too far. Let's continue. Destroyed for the lack of knowledge. Wherever I have gone, among our young people, oh boy. in agricultural and mechanical <laughs> land-grant colleges, when I asked how many of you are studying agriculture, I was shocked. Not much. There's only a very, very few who would raise their hand to say they're studying farming and agriculture. The youth... The very root 
of Dominica's pros prosperity, we the very root we we there bringing old white people to come and do tour the car walk. <laughs> There's some of them on there walking. I see my reviews walking, stick with it, trying to go in boss. That is what we 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 are just not interested in studying farming and agriculture. They just don't see the value of that. But then again, when especially for understanding women too, women might say, "Oh, you working farming? You dirty? I don't want to be with you." But back in the day, understanding how things were, where marriage is what more, in, more happening. Most people was in famine. Their husbands were dirty or whatnot, but they were married too. But at the same time, they were also supplying for their family. Some people used to send their children to school in America on the money that they made from famine. Some man used to buy their house cash, bring a bit here and say, bank, look that. Look that <laughs> under famine, boy. Woe be unto humanity. Eh? Understanding is key. Did you know that the average age of farmers throughout the world must be over forty? Is such that it needs to be studied. The average farmer in Africa is sixty years old. In USA, 58 years. In Japan, 66 years. In Australia, 58 years of age. And so what has been done? I guess people go into social media. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. I'm one of them. I used to do my family. Don't, don't, don't talk about it. I make a good amount of money on that family already. But I've also gone into social media. But not everybody is fortunate like that. Most people want to go and say, that. i seen people. First of all, guys, let me help you understand something about social media. Social media, especially things like TikTok and Instagram, they are promotional things. They are for you to promote things, not for you to take selfie. If you put in selfie, obviously, on the basis of what it was created to do, it seems like you are looking for some sort of attention. And on the basis of understanding social media, right now, even the women, the studies go out, they say how women feel so depleted of themselves because of social media. They are looking for the attention. If they're not getting the attention, where else can they get it? They don't know. So they feel a level of, but human beings not easy, no boy. Boy, I tell you. So most people try their best. I am on social media. I make funds on social media. But most people on social media, what are you doing on social media in the first place? Uh, what are you doing there? You making more? You making funds? Uh? What are you doing? Some of all you just taking so to just go and look for attention. <laughs> hey. Anyways, let's continue. And you can make money. I don't see fellas. Look the other day there. I see a man making makeup. We boy. The man put makeup <laughs> for him to look like a pretty male. Boy, boy, boy. <laughs> In the Caribbean. <laughs> Let me continue, I guess. Uh. Caribbean, 62 uh, years of age. 62. The most striking feature is that although 58.7% oh, of really. blacks in the cities are under 35 years of age, only 4% of black farmers are under 35. On the other hand, 25% of black farmers are over 70 years of age, while only 5.5% of the black non-farm population is over 70. Guys, as he's saying that there, I'm thinking about Dominica, how many youth are involved in agriculture? I remember one of the individuals, she 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 does oil and stuff, um, Lucky, Lucky, uh, who I think should have been the Minister of Agriculture for sure. But no, I guess they didn't want to put her for that. <laughs> oh, Guys, every time I think of I just, hey, let me continue. So when the older black farmers die off, there is no one to fill the gap. Who? Who's going to fill the gap? Who? As if some of all you know to plant peas. <laughs> Only you to plant peas? Lime? Several factors continue. Sugar cane, my Only you have to destroy the sugar. 
You take a piece of the sugar and the throw it on the ground. Or you even know how to do that? <laughs> in you to influence the ability in having an ample supply of well trained, highly qualified. Boy, I have you on my father. Hey, what else going up? I didn't like on my father. <laughs> I didn't like it, you know. But I happy he did what he did, eh? Because we know how to do almost everything if it have. We know how to do oh my god. Boy, we can boy. <laughs> boy. Yes, sir. Five teachers of agriculture vital to sustain and grow agricultural education across the country. Now, guys, there's an important point I must make reference to. On the whole basis of this whole Rona situation across the world, where people were suffering under that, under that, 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 no, no. I think there was a previous incident that took place. There was a previous incident that took place where the world was in turmoil. Or they needed some sort of, you know, agriculture there, but it was not happening. And agriculture was the only place that did not feel it. Why? Because the people were planting their own food. Look at what is happening in the United States right now. They're trying to prevent people from planting their own food on the basis of carbon emissions. They say you cannot have this amount of cattle, you cannot have this. And, and they're trying to break down and then they're making the people at the top who are giving the people the fake seeds to come and plant it and they're rejecting it. The farmers, them rejecting it and there's a whole squabble. That is if people know what is going on in the world. <laughs> There's just not enough qualified teachers to teach agriculture. There is, I believe there is, but there's not enough qualified people who are willing to learn because they have to get their hands in the dirt. <laughs> All right then. And because students are going away from it, then these courses are very weak even when they are offered. These are just a few. Of That's what I'm saying. The turnout is very weak even when they are offered. Because how many people have the passion to want to do these things in the first place? I don't think there's a proper education on the understanding of how important that is. Human beings need to eat. Bring your snack, but you need to eat. Of the alarming facts of the teacher shortage facing agricultural education mm. if you don't have a teacher you can't produce a student not on the basis of that though it'll take longer one of the things that i like to do when i was growing up is to break things apart and put them back together that was always my thing my father always thought i'd become some sort of scientist and this kind of thing because that's what i enjoy doing if i saw a microwave i'd break it apart and then put it back together and it would work <laughs> a fan break it apart Put it back together tv break it apart put it back together so when things broke down in the house and stuff i was the one they were calling to fix things i used to create things that i saw <laughs> create things that i saw so when light go <laughs> i have my fan on deck i have my things on deck all made <laughs> that was for the aa Anyways. and if you don't have students taking agriculture you don't need an agriculture teacher so what does this tell us that there's not much demand for it so you don't supply what is not demanded for we're out of the farming business yep. we are completely dependent on somebody else to feed, to feed us, us. And the Honorable Elijah Muhammad said, no. Well, I don't know about that one. Okay, but let's continue. No people can be free. Well, I know about him, you know, and he's going, but anyways, yeah. Free with their mouth in the kitchen of another, particularly in the kitchen of our former slave masters ha. and their children. As long as we do not own land, we're not going to be a productive people. We will continue to be a consumer nation. And as long as we are not... That is what Dominica is. It's a consumer's nation. We are importing more than we are exporting. We are importing more than we are exporting. And who is to blame? Well... You normally blame the leaders for doing this because they are the ones setting things in precedence that come into the people and then enticing the people to then take these things that they are bringing in. But it's also the responsibility of the people.
to not be bamboozled even though their leaders are the ones instigating things to happen that way we must be wise people wise respecting the profession of farming and the cultivation of land and producing of quality food then our life our health quality food look the chinese in one um, um one mile making new kind of thing they making new thing that affecting the crops in dominica boy them people bringing that thing from china and bringing it one mile for them to learn to, to see how it can adapt to the environment and creating different things what do you think they're going to sell it you think they, well most times they send things back to china but you know they send it to you as well right and if things are developing there then new thing new type of diseases come and affect the crops you know that's how things work right okay our well-being is in the hands of the oppression of our former slave masters and their children and you know, they don't know what to do with us. We've become a problem. Nearly 50 million of us, they won't be able to provide jobs for us. So many white scientists are thinking, what can we do with the Negroes? <laughs> Remember what Uncle Bill stated? What he must do with the injections so that he can, you know. Let me not say much because <laughs> that video going back on my reaction channel. <laughs> and if I get two strikes, well, <laughs> whoa. All right, then. Let's keep it, you know. Guys, what are your thoughts, man, on what we've just heard there? Let me know your thoughts in the comment box below, guys. I want to see what you guys have to say on this. Maybe it's me. Or me am I the only one feeling that way about this? Am I the only one? Let me know your thoughts, guys. Leave your thoughts in the comment box below, guys. And I'll see you guys in the next reaction video. Bye.